Hi, today I thought I'd start out my video with a little driving sequence. Then, after I visit the town of Carlinville, they have a very large collection of Sears homes. So we'll tour that neighborhood and see what we can find. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Brian and you're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm in Carlinville in Illinois and we're gonna go see what we can find. Right behind me is the courthouse and over here is the jail. <laughs> All right, let's go see what else we can find. There's the courthouse and this is the old jail. And I guess we're off of 66. Unfortunately, it looks like they have this puppy shut down and locked up. Kind of like a jail is supposed to be, right? Locked up. 1869. Wow. Check this out. That is one cool. <laughs> That's cool. One quick cruise around the town square and then we'll walk around a bit. What do you think of these driving shots? Should I do more of these? Let me know in the comments below. Right in the main town square. And I have to say, this is a pretty cool looking town square. Is it me or can you see dancing women <laughs> on top of that? I don't know. That's an old building, that's for sure. Probably was a saloon back in the day. We got the antique mall. We got the rabbit hole. The gazebo. It's almost like the Dukes of Hazard. Found this uh, mural right outside the antique shop. It's pretty hard to see. Looks like they're selling shoes. A blue moon head. All right. So this must be the second oldest building in the square. Built in 1854. Wow. Old Abe Lincoln. I found another ghost mural. What do you think that used to advertise? <laughs> Leave a comment below. I have no idea. 
I want to give these guys a little shout out. They're much more helpful than the internet. I'm trying to find the Sears homes. And they had all kinds of information. They had this pamphlet. So, that's what we're going to do. Did you know Sears made houses? Well, they did. They were a kit house. In short, it was a house whose blueprints and building supplies were ordered from the Sears catalog. All of the supplies were shipped by rail to the homeowner who either built the house himself or used a contractor to arrange the construction. One of the most fascinating parts of the story is that everything was included and labeled for the construction of the home. This is a Langston house and it sold for $1,600. Nails and screws included. I gotta do it all over again. My uh, audio wasn't hooked up. <laughs> This would be the beginning of my tour of the Sears homes. Okay, so the Sears homes. It took two major companies to bring about the Standard Edition. Standard Oil and Sears. The Standard Edition grew out of the need to provide quality housing for the miners of the newly opened coal mines in the area operated by Standard Oil Company. They turned to Sears for the solution to the problem. Sears brought in the unconstructed pieces by railway car and delivered them to the building site. Construction began in June 1918 after the local wheat harvest was complete. Work on the houses continued nonstop until April 1919. I was gonna make this a walking tour but when talking to the guy inside the antique shop, he was like, where are you from? And I'm like, St. Louis? And he goes, yeah, you'll be all right. He said, I tell people, it's not like Disneyland. <laughs> Personally, I didn't think it was that bad a neighborhood. I think it a lot of looks, but I was stopping and photoing a lot of things, so that's understandable. This home's on the map, so I think that's a model. My map says it's the unnamed model, so I couldn't find any info on that one. I think that right there is a Sears home. The Carleen, and it sold for $1,100. I think that might be a model. I think this one is the Whitehall, and it sold for $839. And I think this must be a Sears home. The map is kind of hard to read. This one's not listed as a Sears home, but I bet it is. Looks pretty cool. I'm sure I missed a few, got a few wrong. You're more than welcome to correct me in the comments. Hope you're enjoying my tour. Pretty sure that's a Sears home. Looks like a bunch of them. I think that second one is the Roseberry for 750 bucks. On the other side of the road, I think that's one too. The Gladstone. I don't see a price, but I see some interior shots. I think this is a... Uh, Sears home. And next door probably is also a Sears home. Ooh, this one's pricey. The Lebanon for almost $2,000. And you can buy this one. It's for sale. I think we already got a shot of that house. 
This is also uh, a Sears home. The Carleen for $1,100. Both of these, I think. This is a nice little house. Also a Sears home. The Gladstone. That's a pretty nice looking model. So here's a picture of what the houses look like. I think we've seen most of these models, maybe. They're pretty cool looking houses. Don't you think? That was an unnamed model. Cool. Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. This was a weird way to film a video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. This town has some interesting things to see. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, if you can get a professional tour of this, these, these homes, it's definitely recommended. <laughs> this little map I got is not as useful as you'd think it would be. All right, bye. This has to be the coolest plaza sign I've ever seen. <laughs> Look how sparkly it is. Look at it. How awesome is that? That is very cool. It says, Be Happy City. Unfortunately, the mall attached to it looks kind of run down. Looks okay. Never mind. Pay no attention to me.